Uh, I have some good news uh, for those of you that don't know, but today I'm being baptized right after service. Yeah. 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 I'm 53 years old, and I'm here to tell you that it is never too late. Today is commencement. 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 Commencement is one of those funny words. It means the beginning and the end. In this case, it's the end and the beginning. Today is the end of me running from God. Today is the beginning of this beautiful relationship that we are about to have from now until the end of eternity, the end of time. It's the end of ignoring the warriors of God that I've been surrounded by my entire life, whose mouths are probably still open right now, shocked that I'm standing up here and talking to you about being baptized today. But thank you for doing that. And you never give up on me, just like God never gives up. It's a beautiful thing. I found myself homeless once, but I ended up moving to a big high-rise uh, condo down on Pensacola Beach. So it's one of the nicest ones on Pensacola Beach. I spent time there thinking that I was leading a rock star lifestyle, uh, sitting by a pool, drinking alcohol, doing the whole beach lifestyle. But at night, when I would lay down, I would be very sad. And I had this hole inside me, and I always had it, but I chose to be around people that thought like I do, and they were not godly people. I ran from godly people. I was at the end of my wits. One evening at sunset, I took a walk on the beach. And I walked almost to Navarre Beach from Pensacola Beach. I got more than halfway there. And I started to cry. I stopped. And I started to cry. And I was standing right up on the edge where the sand is dry and where it's wet. And I asked God, what's wrong with me? Why am I the way I am? How can I fix this once and for all? I want to heal. I don't want to be this person anymore. Before I got that last sentence out of my mouth, water hit me ankle deep. And when I looked down, there was a perfectly round sand dollar between my feet. And I picked it up. Now we know the front of a sand dollar is the North Star. So I picked it up and I kept I get hold of that thing for a long time, and I think I might still have it. Uh, well, I will tell you, I have a tendency to take things that are important to me and put them somewhere where they'll be safe, and then I don't know where they are. <laughs> so I may still have it. Now we fast forward to where I am today. I live in a home. I haven't moved somewhere. I was bouncing around so much in my life. I now have a home that I'm buying. I have a daughter who is 16. I've got to watch her grow up. I'm so very proud of her. She has never been in trouble. And praise God for that. And, uh, oh yeah, found this church, and this church put everything into overdrive. And there was uh, one more thing. That I... Susan, you This is an angel from God, because without her, I wouldn't be here. God shines his light through her, and it's big enough that it came into me. And if it weren't for this woman, again, I would not be standing here. She is in God's army. She is a warrior. And uh, there's one more name I want to mention, especially when it comes to this church is in the back of the room, Tangie. And Tangie. <laughs> the first time I met Tangie, her enthusiasm and her energy came into me. And before I even got into this sanctuary, I knew this was gonna be the place. But we were looking for a church for a long time. I believe it was Papa who suggested that we come here. <laughs> because we came here in 2009. But she's the one who said, let's go to church. We just have to find one. So now here we are. And as I said in the welcome, Pastor Brad can't get rid of us now. As a matter of fact, 
As a matter of fact, I've seen him use body language to get me out that door as I'm talking out the door. I can't sleep on Sunday nights, I can't eat on Sundays. Because when I leave this place, I'm so full of energy and it's all the Holy Spirit and it's all God. That's right. And He's in me all the time. I'm sorry I ignored Him for so long, but He says, That's back there. You're right here. That's right. You're going there. give you a future and hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. He found me. I found him. So now let's close this out. And I hope everybody will stay and go out and back and watch this happen, especially you, those that thought I would never do this. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are my brothers. So everybody can stand up, please. Let's close out in prayer. Dearest Heavenly Father, glory, glory, glory. Today is the day. Lord, we all know that you have a plan for us, Lord, and it will happen when you say it does. Lord, I know that you are the truth and that Jesus Christ is my Savior and the only way through. So I repent of everything that I've done and everything that I've said and take us all now on this journey. For those who have not found you yet, Lord, I pray for them and I hope that they find the glory that you've given all of us in this room, this family, my direct family, my church family, my friend family. You are all my family. God, thank you for all of my family. Please be with us for the rest of the day and thank you. You, Lord, for giving us your house so that we can honor you and worship you every day. Thank you. We're grateful. In Jesus Christ, heavenly name I pray. Say it with me. Amen. Amen. Let's go get that question.